like whatever we teach them in the class we are just giving them the theoretical portion and when they go in the lab they are able to perform the experiments or they are able to see the models so because of those models the people are able to apply that theory in their daily life when we see certain things the copy of that remains in our eye because of that when the light falls in our eye and then we are able to see that image now this instrument this model is talking about that and there is a phenomenon called persistence of vision that means whenever we see any image that it will remain in our eye that is in the part of the eye that i said just now about retina it remains on the retina for some time and that is very minimum time and that image is captured by the retina and it remains that is called as a persistence of vision the meaning is vision that is seen sight and persistence that is remaining so this model which is called zoetrope is made on basis of that science is part of our everyday lives however for most children from the underprivileged community they do not get any exposure to scientific uh, concepts due to which they develop a lot of fear and anxiety towards science and in the year 2016 we invested in a stem lab the stem lab has played a critical part in the students being able to be comfortable with science they are able to learn science in a fun way and the multiple experimental models which we have created curiosity in the minds of the children and help them to accept science as something which they can also be part of as they go for their higher education my model name is kaleidoscope kaleidoscope operate on the principle of multiple reflection in this kaleidoscope we have three rectangular mirrors at 45 degree and colorful beads and transparent mirror when uh, when this kaleidoscope is completed as we rotate this tube and see inside this hole we have multiple images and patterns we can see the images with the help of the mirrors what we join it inside the kaleidoscope thank you